today on the Dr. Oz Show. Are you running on empty? It seems like I never have energy. By the time 3 o'clock comes, I'm drained. Supercharge your body and boost your energy. It's not one size fits all. That's the big story today. It caught me off guard. It's so easy to do. Hidden causes. Your body is fighting a civil war on the inside. That inflammation saps you of your energy, makes you gain weight. Simple solutions. They're fast, but you don't have time to waste. And this one can work overnight. Next. Is your mirror becoming your enemy? Every time you look, you see a new wrinkle, some age spots, a little more sagging skin. Well, you might blame the usual suspects, the sun or getting older, but some of your skin's biggest enemies are actually hiding in your own house right now. Does this sound crazy? Well, I sent a top dermatologist to three women's homes to uncover those secret skin agers, and you won't believe what she found. Tansy. Come on in. Definite skin ager. Let's see what we could find in here. This is definitely a culprit. I think I'm going to take this with me. I use that every day. Well, I want to check on how hot your shower water actually is. This is over 130 degrees. Hot water. So aging on the skin. And it can also break capillaries. Oh, I see another secret skin ager. Oh, I love that. I use it all the time. 50% of the UV radiation that hits our skin, it comes right through a window. And that is responsible for brown spots, wrinkles, and premature aging. I think I found all the secret skin agers that were lurking in your house. And now I'm going to take these with me back to the studio. The dermatologist Elizabeth Tansy is here along with the ladies from our piece. So, Dr. Tansy, how often do you find household items that actually are damaging your skin secretly? Dr. Oz, I see this all the time. People are generally um, well-educated about basic skin care, mm -hmm. but it's those secret skin agers that we're exposed to on a daily basis that can really wreak havoc. But they're easily fixed, too. I was shocked by what you found. It's one of the first mm -hmm. secret skin ager. It was found in the bathroom. Your bathroom, as a matter of fact. Yes. And this is something that surprised me and shocked me. I probably will surprise you as well. The loofah. Now, the loofahs usually used, I thought, to help the skin. What gives? Well, these particular loofahs, the plastic loofah, and even the natural ones, are really scratchy and irritating to the skin. And irritation over time leads to inflammation, which breaks down collagen, and it can lead to skin looking older. And that's particularly true of delicate tissue like the neck and chest. That must even happen to me. I feel like my chest and my neck are 105 years old. <laughs> and, and I love these products. You use them a lot? I do. I do, very often. So what's an alternative folks can't use the loofah? So, Nancy, what you can do is switch out um, your plastic loofah with something simple like a basic washcloth and a moisturizing cleanser. This one from Dove has shea butter in it. It'll gently remove dead skin cells without stripping the skin of its natural oil. And since body skin turns over less frequently than facial skin, you only have to do it once a week. So a basic cloth is an adequate exfoliator? Adequate exfoliator. Wow. You okay, okay with that? I'm perfect with that. I'm Definitely going to change my routine. <laughs> Thanks for letting us invade your house. I appreciate Thank it. You. All right, the next secret skin agent was found in the bedroom. It's a pillow. How are you? Hi, how are you? So this one again surprised me and shocked me. I want to do the little experiment with you. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just, just prove to all of you this is possible because it's, it's really going to blow your mind. It's the pillow. Mm -hmm. The pillow could be aging your skin. So, Debbie, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to lie on this bed and show okay. me how you normally sleep. Okay. Okay. Normally, you're not actually going to sleep. You're just lying. <laughs> like that. Okay. Okay. That's how you normally okay. lie down. Yes. All right, Dr. Tansy. First of all, I mean, how is this possible that the pillow could be causing wrinkles? And how is Debbie lying now contributing to it? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a scientific fact, Dr. Oz. There have been there have been scientific papers written to show that we age, we show the signs of aging faster on the side of the face that we sleep on. In fact, in my practice, I see patients who need more Botox, fillers, and laser treatments on the side of the face they sleep on every night. Yeah. You know, I want you all to ask yourselves, is this possible? The wrinkles we're talking about, they're usually vertical. They'll be you know, like this, this kind of wrinkle, right? Because right? you're lying on that side of your face. So they're not the horizontal wrinkles and the crow's eyes. It's you know, these weird shaped wrinkles. Mm -hmm. So what should folks do if they want to get rid of all of them to begin with? So to avoid those sleep wrinkles, we want to encourage back sleeping. And to do that, you can use 
something like this um, anti-wrinkle beauty pillow. It helps to cradle the head okay. and encourage it. back okay. sleeping. Now, back it's $45, back, yeah. but it may save you literally hundreds in additional products and treatments you need on one side of your face. If that's a little too expensive, what you can do is swap out your cotton pillowcase with a satin pillowcase, which is a little bit more forgiving on facial skin, and wedge your pillows on each side of your head to encourage back sleeping so you don't get the repetitive compression and etching in those wrinkles every night. Are they doable? Very doable. Thank you so much. All right. And the final secret, how are you? Good, how are you? The final secret that ages our skin was found actually in the kitchen. And these are the antibacterial soaps that have alcohol in them. So, Dr. Tansy, what is the issue with these? All right. Well, alcohol is so damaging on the skin because it strips it of its natural oils and leaves it um, with accelerated aging. So, do you use these soaps routinely? I do. I use this every day. I have three kids. I'm watching lots of dishes. And I spend a lot of money on beauty products, you know, to stay looking young. And I had no idea something I'm using every day is really showing my age in my hands. If I can speak to you all about this openly, you know, I, th I think a lot of folks use antibacterial soaps because you think they're, they're going to help you out. You mm -hmm. think you need to. Antibacterial soaps, and I've been on the record saying this for a long time now, they just induce antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria. It's unnecessary for you personally mm -hmm. and for the environment around us. So these don't make any sense from a medical perspective. In addition, Dr. Tansy is arguing that they're bad for your skin, they're aging you. Right. So what would you suggest, Dr. Tansy, as an alternative? Yeah, well, this is important because hands are one of the first um, areas we show the signs of aging. And it's an easy fix. You want to look for products that are gentler. Um, some of these seventh generation products are nice because they have botanical oils that don't strip the skin. And also take it one step further by using uh, a pair of rubber gloves, cotton-lined rubber gloves when you're spending a lot of time in the water. That will really protect your skin as well. I could use these in the OR. Okay. Yes, but here, here, that's yours. All right. Okay, thank you for the advice. I want to thank all my guests for letting us invade your privacy and keep at your home. Coming up, my best cheese days of the day, mouth watering, comfort food dinners, and almost too healthy to be true. Thank you. Up next, comfort food dinner cheats. Making dumplings that are healthy for you is a very tall order. Check this one stop job. You won't believe it's good for you. And later, three more cheats. I love tomatoes, but this is a different way of using them. Dr. Oz wants you to try.